What's up, everybody? It's Moses, and welcome back to the MDL Pro Tips powered by Mountain Dew Game Fuel. This is going to be a very cool variation on how you can take Ivy from the T side. Um, and the first one we're going to show you, it's going to be, uh, just, this is just a standard take of Ivy. This is just the most basic smokes and Molotovs that come out. We've all seen it a million times. You can see Nico here. He's about to line up a smoke for the left side of Ivy, the Molotov to the right side. This is just as the CT smoke clears. And he's going to use these to push up safely down the train because no one can peek on either side. You either take damage or you risk coming through the smoke as an opper. This is the standard take. Take, and there's a very cool variation that FaZe does in this half to really punish G2 later on. All right, now this is the very cool variation on it, and this is nothing special, but watch what they do. Instead of that standard Ivy take that we see previously, this is way more aggressive, and it's a little bit gimmicky, so it's probably only going to be useful maybe once, maybe twice per half, but watch this double nade towards the left side. They're going to force Amanek away from the angle. He's going to back off as Olaf sneaks into the smoke, and then he grabs position, and then he pounces. So those two nades give that small window of opportunity for you to step up and take that fight, grab the ankle so the opper can't repeak, or at least he has a disadvantage if he chooses to re-peek into that fight. And that's going to allow access for FaZe towards the back of the alleys and all the way towards that B bomb site. Now, they do have to battle for control, but it's a good way to get a leg up on this tactic.